Hi, I'm Donald Link. Today we're checking out the salmon in the Pacific Northwest. I've done a lot of fishing in my life, but this is my first salmon trip. The local salmon I've had on the West Coast tastes entirely different from the farm salmon that most of us have become accustomed to. Fishing for salmon is tricky. You can only keep certain kinds of fish. He's a keeper and a hatchery king. Good job. Nice. Hatchery kings are salmon that were hatched in a fishery that were released right here in Puget Sound. Those we can keep. Wild spawn salmon we have to throw back because they're protected. Before we start cooking dinner, we're going to Ballard Locks to see exactly how the salmon run from Lake Washington down to the ocean and then back up again when it's time to spawn. Above the dam, that's fresh water coming out of the Lake Washington watershed. Those water flumes are to bring the juvenile salmon, they're about this big, they're called smolts, to bring them over the top of the dam and plop them right here and to start their saltwater existence. So, so from here, they're born and they come out this way through these? Yeah and yeah. out and then. They're gonna stay here in Puget Sound just a couple of weeks and then off to the ocean they go. Hundreds and hundreds of miles for some of them, you know, a thousand miles for some of them. And then they come back. How they get back here is a little bit of a mystery. We don't know ocean navigation very well, but we do know this fresh water is the smell of their home stream. And so once they get into this bay, they'll swim around in here for maybe an hour or so. They're acclimating. They're changing now from a saltwater fish to a freshwater fish. Then they're going to seek out the flow of water that's going to take them home. And the only flow that they can figure out is coming right out of here, out of the fish ladder. Come in through here? They come right in through that opening right there. So up. Up there. Up there, and right. Back. And the steps are about one foot apart, so it's just one foot, one foot, one foot up over the top of the dam. These are sockeye salmon right here. Their ocean existence takes them up into the Aleutian Islands, off the coast of Japan, okay. back over east they come to the border between Oregon and Washington, and they do this circle two or three times in their life eating pelagic shrimp Which their whole life. Pink. <laughs> There's 21 steps in the ladder. Now that they've come up to step 18, they're actually up 18 feet above zero tide. This particular step has been elongated so that the salmon can rest here before they move on out. And they're in here about how long? 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour. Some move right on through. You know, that body was built on ocean food. So all of the nitrogen, all of the phosphorus that came from the ocean is now deposited to the freshwater environment. They jumpstart the whole system. Even trees that are along the water line, all of that energy comes from nutrients from salmon. These are great fish. I tell you, when you go into a, a restaurant, if you can get fresh, wild sockeye, here it is. Check out my other videos from Seattle. We cooked the salmon we caught with wild sorrel at Kurtwood Farms. Jay was right, nothing beats the taste of fresh salmon. And when it's managed properly, wild salmon can be a sustainable food, so generations to come will enjoy it too.